What's up everyone? Uh, this is your guide on how to buy your first guitar. So uh, we have a lot of people in our community. They are like, I want to get into playing guitar. I want to start learning. And they don't know how to go about buying their first guitar or they might have a crappy guitar lying around and they don't know if it's good enough or it's going to achieve their goals. So basically uh, in this tutorial and this little course that I've got, we want to focus on how can you get your first guitar or fix a guitar um, to make it playable and how do you not quit? So the only variable to you not getting good at music is quitting. So if you do not play, you will not get better. So that's it. So whatever you can do within your power to stop you from quitting is the number one goal. And that's the frame that we're going to, to picture like everything that we, we talk about here is about how do I not quit the guitar and how do I keep playing? and not give up when it's hard because music straight up is hard. I'm not going to like sugarcoat it with you. It is very, very fun and you will have a lot of fun when you're playing and we're going to give you a lot of hacks that are going to help you get through things very quickly. Um, but the music is hard and there is going to be a pain point in different areas where muscle memory or things that you have built up in your past through like, I know some people might have great finger dexterity from playing video games and some people might have like great like forearm strength and things like that so they can strum really well. So there's a lot of things or you're just like a really clever person and you understand music theory like and chords aren't confusing for you. So there's a lot of things and skills that you have built up in your life that when you bring over and start playing music and start, start playing the guitar, you will accelerate and then you will hit walls. And then that's where the skill deficiency is and that's where we fix it. So you need to make sure the instrument you have is packaged in a way that it is so easy to play, so easy to enjoy, and that when you're hitting these walls of frustration, you can persevere and you make um, put systems in place that make you win, you know? Um, so for the beginning, the way it's going to be structured is we're just going to talk about the different types of guitars you can get and what they're used for, and then we're going to go into some costing stuff and then we will go into uh, the setups that you need to get done. And then basically any feedback you guys have on this course, please let me know. I would absolutely love to help you guys out. This is a course for you guys. So if the content is difficult to process or you feel like could be better, just let me know. I'll record another video and we'll keep improving. Keep iterating on, on the product. Um, this is just to bring you guys as much value as possible. So. With that being said, let's do the very first thing that you need to figure out, which is what guitar do you want? And so basically, there's not a lot of guitars to choose from. Well, there's like a huge amount of guitars you can pick up, but there's not a lot of types of guitars. So really, you've only got a guitar that's an acoustic guitar and you got a guitar that's an electric guitar. So here's acoustic guitar, easy. And here's electric guitar. Now, when you make your decision on whether or not you want an acoustic or an electric guitar, I know I'm making it very simple, but it is simple. You need to pick what do you want out of it? Like what is driving you to want to play music? Do you want to play music because you love listening to John Mayer? Do you want to play music because you're a fan of Ed Sheeran and his live looping? Are you a fan of what I do? You know, whatever it is. Figure out what it is that you like. Do you like country music? You know, what is the things that, that make you happy? And then you want to reverse engineer from there what guitar you want. Now, for most beginners, an acoustic guitar is a win. It is a straight W. Like one of the best ways to get better at guitar is get an acoustic guitar. One, because the barrier entry to practice is super low, just so low. You just put this guitar next to you, put it wherever you're, you're hanging around. Um, and you just say to yourself every day, I'm going to pick up a guitar for five minutes. And then you just go, when you walk past it, you grab it, boom, play for five minutes before you go to the bathroom or brush your teeth or whatever it is you do uh, in your day, figure out something. But that will get you so far ahead so quickly. Um, it's just not even funny. It's just like ultimate hack. Acoustic guitar gets you really, really good at guitar, really fast, super accessible. Can take it traveling any way you want. You can do whatever you like with it. Um, so I would 100% recommend for anyone who's jumping in and thinking, I want to play guitar and I just don't care about what guitar it is. I just want to get good at guitar and start playing music and singing and playing, um, you get an acoustic guitar. Now, for the people who 
want um, an electric guitar, I was one of those people. I wanted to play guitar solos. I wanted to, you know, shred. I want to play rock music, things like that. Then you are really limited because you can't play an acoustic guitar. An acoustic guitar, even if you can plug it into an effects pedal, it sounds like garbage and will never, ever replicate what an electric guitar does. So an electric guitar is just a different beast. It feels completely different. And so that's why you want to aim for, you know, if you like rock music, you want to be playing with distortion and things like that, get an electric guitar. Now, with an electric guitar, this is the next thing, right? Once you've decided, hey, I want to buy, either get an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar, and you need to now take the next step of like, well, what music do I like? Because, you know, all music, like the actual technical elements to the guitar and playing music are all the same, literally cross genre. You know, a, a G chord is a G chord, you know, and the chord 145 is a 145 progression in every single genre. The things that change the feel towards what makes a, a, you know, a genre specific is like rhythm and groove and instrumentation and tone and things like that. And that's what, you know, if you wanted to play great country music, you would get an acoustic guitar and you would probably get it what we call a Fender Telecaster, which is what all the electric guitarists pretty much use. Or they have like um, a lot of the rocking dudes, they have like these really savagely cool humbucker uh, guitars. I can't remember the exact name of it, but one of the guys who plays for Morgan Wall and he's sponsored by them, it's a very, very cool guitar. But essentially you wanna pick the genre. The reason why I say this is if you wanna play blues and you wanna play funk and all that stuff, you know, Stratocaster shape, very, very good guitar. Um, and you definitely want an electric guitar. Now, when you go down that road, that means you now have to either invest in some form of amp modulator, which is like you can get it on your phone with like GarageBand and things like that, at least a couple of pieces of equipment, or you need an amp, or you need some form of interface if you're going to plug everything into your phone, or a guitar pedal if you're going to plug into the guitar pedal and put headphones in. There's just added costs that will go onto that that will be on top of the guitar. Um, now, if you just want to play an acoustic guitar and you want to strum and you want to hang out at the beach and you don't really care, um, you just want the acoustic element of it, you want to play it in your living room, then an acoustic guitar is fantastic. Now, the next level is like, do you want to loop? Because we have a lot of people who love um, live looping and that's what I do in my streams. Uh, and if you want that, then you now have to get an acoustic guitar which has a pickup system. So this allows it to be you know, amplified or basically it runs a signal out of the guitar and into a loop pedal. Now you can't do that acoustically. It needs to be, have some form of amplification or some form of signal generator that it can send to the pedal. So now the price on your acoustic guitar just went up and you also have to buy a loop pedal. And you will also probably have to buy some form of um, speaker or amp or like I said, you know, an interface that you can plug into your computer or something like that. So I'm throwing a lot of words at you, but essentially with this first video, you just want to start thinking, okay, well, what guitar do I want? What do I want to achieve? You know, um, just even write it down and start looking like Google this. So this is the thing. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to tell you what guitars to play because there's just so many guitars you can grab, but you want to look at all your favorite artists, what guitar is they playing? What, are, what guitar are they playing? You know, for me, when I first started, just to give you context, I really wanted a Les Paul. Why did I want a Les Paul? Because Slash had a Les Paul. And I was like, I want to sound like Slash. So I wanted to get his guitar or at least his style of guitar. Then I got into John Mayer. So what did I do? I was like, well, I want a Stratocaster. And lo and behold, wedding present, we got a PRS. So, which is the exact John Mayer. That's John Mayer's guitar. So it's like, you build your tone using the influences and the people who inspire you. And that's the first step, you know, cause you won't know what you like you, you won't know how to create your own sound yet that evolves over time. And so that's where you want to go and take other people who you admire and then take their, their equipment and then figure it out. You know, Ed Sheeran runs a three quarter guitar with a pickup and that allows him to, um, live loop in a really, really fun way and create really great sounds and have, I mean, he just sounds awesome. And 
you know, that's why I have that guitar. I got a three quarter guitar because I was like, yeah, easy to play, really small, and I can plug it into a system and it just sounds like a beast. Um, so that's what you want to think about. You know, as soon as you go from acoustic and electric, you know, we start going to a jump bunch of other things, which uh, we'll go into the next module. So yeah, basically have a look, listen to what genres you like, look at the artists that you like, and then let's start thinking about what kind of gu guitar you want to jump into. All right. I'll see you guys in the next episode video. All right. <laughs>